Okay, guys, welcome back. It's Jonathan the Hud King. So, uh, since I live and work in Texas, the majority of these videos are going to be in Texas. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty sa uh, the same thing across the board, no matter what state you're in. The only thing is, Texas probably has the majority of HUD homes throughout the United States right now, which we're very fortunate to say Texas is a fantastic market. So if you're an investor and you're here, welcome. If you need my help, I'll provide my contact info. You guys are, are welcome to call me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have, whether you're a real estate salesperson, a real estate professional, or an investor or buyer. I'm, I'm happy to answer your questions. I don't need to earn your business, but obviously I would love to. So as I was mentioning, when we narrowed the list down right now, there are 533 listings in Texas. What you can do here is you can sort these properties by a number of ways. You can sort them by the address, I'm sorry, not by the address, but by the case number, by the price, by the bedrooms, by the bathrooms. You have a photo of the property, you have the case number. What the property case number is, this is an individual number for each property that HUD assigns. Let me back up. What a HUD home is, a HUD home is an FHA foreclosure. Basically, it's a property that HUD acquired through a foreclosure on an FHA loan. So what that means is a buyer will go to the bank and the buyer will either apply for a conventional or a VA or a, an FHA loan or a USDA. There's a number of loans that the buyer can apply for. If they apply for an FHA loan and they buy a home with an FHA loan and they default on that loan, then the home goes back to the bank and HUD pays the bank off for the amount that they defaulted and the house goes to HUD. Basically what HUD does is HUD insures FHA loans. HUD makes sure that the homes have to qualify, they have to meet a certain requirement for an FHA loan and the buyers also have to qualify for an FHA loan, meaning that they have to have decent credit, steady income. But the guidelines for an FHA loan are typically a little bit more lenient than a conventional loan. It's what I, I like to call it the working man's loan because most uh, or all HUD homes in Texas right now have a maximum loan amount. I think it's around 370000 right now is the maximum single family loan uh, loan amount. So you won't ever find, you, you very likely won't find a million dollar HUD home because HUD doesn't loan up to that amount. They only loan up right now in Texas. I think it's around 370000 but I'll have to double check. So, you know, in, anybody buying a home under 370000 if they want to buy it as an owner occupant, they can get an FHA loan as long as their credit is decent. And the house actually has to also pass these minimum requirements. Hopefully that makes sense. Well, what HUD does when they acquire these properties is they assign them a case number. And it's different for every different house. If you're a real estate professional and you submit a bid, you have to put that case number on almost all of the forms that you submit. It's how HUD tracks the paperwork to making sure that it goes to the corresponding home. If you're an investor or a buyer, an owner-occupant, you're not a professional, you don't really have to worry about the case number. But it is a good idea to make note of it if there's a property that you're looking at because if you see right up here property case number if you write down some case numbers of some properties that you're interested in you can put that case number right there and hit search and it'll find that property if it's on the market if it's, it has a bid that's been acknowledged it'll be pulled from the market and you won't see it on hudhomestore.com but what you can do is you can create your own individual registration and save a search like it says right over here on the right it says save and it'll tell you if that property gets relisted so this site is really, really cool. It's so helpful. When I started selling HUD homes, we didn't have this. We had to actually timestamp the bids and take them down to the HUD office downtown, which was me the old days. So things are getting a lot easier for buyers. Now, one thing that I find that is really, really helpful and cool is this view map feature right here. Right now, there are 533 HUD homes in Texas that are active on the market. If you click this view map button, it's going to open up this window and basically show you with a little pin mark where all of the HUD homes are in Texas. All 533 of these homes are scattered throughout Texas. Now a little disclaimer, 99% of the time these are in the accurate place. From time to time they are not right. So if you see a HUD home, let's say that you live in, we'll come up here to, to Dallas. I'm going to scroll up here to the Dallas area and we'll keep going. Hopefully I'm not making you guys busy. But let's say you're, you live in Dallas and you say, wow, this one right here, this is a fantastic side of Dallas. Now, I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but let's just say that this area is awesome, downtown Dallas, and you like it, and you click on that and you say, wow, there's one here. Well, what you want to do is you want to verify this address before driving out there. So what I would do is I would copy this address, highlight it, copy it, and then I would go to another map, maybe Yahoo Maps or Google Maps, put that address in there and just verify that it's there because I've seen time times in the past where it'll show a property right in the center of, of a city and I think, wow, that's got to be a great property. 
and then I'll 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 do a, a a map search, and it's actually way out here to the west side because times from time to time they do get these listings wrong. So you know we can't fault them for that. It's a lot of information, but this map feature is a great great thing to do. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to continue on video number two.